Hello, I am Mia Moore here at Uniquely Divine LLC, and I have already grounded my energy, saged my cards, and my space to be able to give you guys the best energetic messages. Dear Divine Creative Source of Everything, I thank you for the opportunity to connect with you through these cards. I call upon Archangel Michael, the Divine Spirit of Life, and my ancestors for protection as I go within the tarot to give you guys clear, honest, and accurate messages. I do not own the rights to the music in the background. That is Pandora playing. Okay, so somebody is tired of going in circles. Water signs. This is for my water sign. Oh, shit. Something is about to um, explode. All of my cards just literally fell out of my lap. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I got people looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm at the park doing this, and uh, this is not normal to people sometimes. You know, a lot of people are, you know, judgmental. So maybe you have a lot of judgmental people in your family or just around you in general. I can't believe my cards just all fell out like that. Hang on. Mm. Life purpose. Out first, water signs. And it reads, The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose, and then your purpose will serve you. So this is for my Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpios. Spirit wants you to listen. This keeps coming out. So, and it reads, Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desired manifest manifestations. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. So spirit wants you to listen and quiet your mind so that you can accurately and clearly hear them. Okay, so spirit wants you definitely to get a message because um, this is quite a few. I'm going to take them all. Let your past go. And it reads, the burden of carrying your past around has made you weary, dear one. It is time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't need it or want it, and it is now gone. Entrepreneur is out next. So somebody here is wanting to be an entrepreneur or just now becoming one, okay? Or allowing their self to align to become one, okay? Take the energy where it resonates. And it reads, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to be to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So spirit is letting you know all you have to do is align with your life purpose, okay? And focus on service. This came out in a, another reading and it reads, your soul desires only to jolly, jo uh, can I get this out? So maybe you can't Three, three, three. Maybe you um, can't get something out, but you want to, you know, communicate something to someone. But it reads, your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and all that you do. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe, and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. That came out in the last reading. Cleanse and detoxify. There goes your um, confirmation. And it reads, With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrowful, oh no, any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concern to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. So Spirit is wanting you to release the stress and the burdens from the stress and call upon him or them or whoever you resonate with 
and they will help you to, you know, deal with the stress of your everyday life. So someone could be drinking too much or have, you know, unhealthy addictions or um, habits. Addictions are not always drugs. Habits are not always drugs. You can all, um, you could eat too much. You could drink too much. You could smoke too much. You know, triumph of lies. Someone here is um, definitely lying to you and trying to cover it up. This is for my water signs. Oh, blinded to pain. You're blinded to a lot of things that are going on in your life, okay? And you're wondering, is this me? 5.45 on the clock. You may not understand a lot of things that are going on around in your life. You're like wallowing in your emotions, and you shouldn't do that. Yep, someone feels alone in this world. But you're not alone. You have spirit guides. You have, you know, your angels, your way sewers, and guides, you know. So you're never alone, even when you feel like you are. You have many people who truly do love you, even if you feel unloved. Okay. All right. Food and hunger came out in my earth signs reading. So someone here um, works too much, like I said, um, and they sometimes forget to eat. Or they just don't know how to cook and they're eating a lot of um, fast foods or processed foods. Somebody, oh, vows and spouse. Somebody here is wanting to get married or is keeping a vow to a spouse or trying to or making a vow to a spouse. Finances. Somebody finances is about to pick up. 707 was on the clock. Or this is somebody's finances about to um, um, dwindle? I don't even know what that is, but that's what I heard. One more spirit. Spirituality and religion. So somebody here is definitely stuck in their ways or stuck in their ways of thinking or something of that sort. And they feel like, you know, religion is no longer helping. They need, oh my, as I split the deck, magic. Somebody here, mm, move forward. Somebody here is definitely, um, could be doing magic on you. And they could also be doing magic on your family members as well to make them turn on you as well. So that you can feel like you are alone and you don't have anyone. They do all kinds of spells to keep you like, um, what do you call it? Um, isolated. Isolation spells. There we go. They're waiting on some type of um, manipulation to take place. Or this is you waiting on better from this situation. What happened to the music? Mm. So somebody feels like you found somebody better or you feel like you have. But um, you're being patient. Or this person is trying to be patient. Waiting for whatever it is that they are doing behind your back to be exposed or the karma from, from it. Couldn't even get that out. So somebody is going to be... Um, mm. Somebody's going to feel, um, they're going to feel cursed by spirit. They're going to feel like, why is this happening to me? They're going to be contemplating 909. They're going to be going to be contemplating on why this had to happen to them, but they're going to see that blessings and lessons go hand in hand. Good, you can't have the good without the bad. Innocent. Somebody played innocent. Uh-huh. And this is why you're breaking free, because you're seeing through the illusion. She's not going to hold you down the way somebody else holds you down, or he. So someone feels like they can love you better. Or they actually can love you better. Mm. 
that wanted to flip over fertility somebody here is really fertile or they have a lot of children or this is someone that is about to birth a whole new begin a new beginning into their life yep well, as i said that transformation will power new beginning do you see that spirit oh my god somebody is stepping they're they're putting forth the willpower to make this transformation happen in their life they're no longer settling for less they're not going to settle for less any longer clear honest and accurate messages for my water sign spirit Mm. regret somebody is um feeling very regretful and it reads i know that i cannot change the past so someone here wants to be able to change the past but they can't imagination is out next and it reads i embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind so exactly what the card is saying you are needing to embrace and um nourish the creative aspects of your mind or this is someone that's doing this to you they are doing um um rituals but spirit wants you to surrender okay and the person that's doing the spills they want you to surrender too okay they want you to be you know operating in self-love okay and it reads i can release my need to control maybe you thought you can control a situation by doing manipulative i mean i said manipulative so somebody they play smart but they're not so somebody here um is doing manipulation tactics uh-huh even on their family members children too they manipulate children and then blame they play the blame game well well you did this so i did this tit for tat type of energy but and it reads i accept responsibility for my well-being so someone here does not accept responsibility they just blame everybody moving on I don't know this song, so let me change it. Clear, honest, and accurate messages for my water signs. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody here is ready to um, plant seeds so that they can reap better um rewards in the future or this is someone that's actually about to reap what they've been sowing into the universe somebody is about to walk away from something they are being um alerted i would say by the higher ups this isn't you know, it might be a person that comes in and, you know, expose some things, but it's being done by spirit. It's divinely orchestrated to happen that way. It's way too many. Mm. The tower is about to hit somebody okay towers are not always bad towers are meant to bring you along the right path so if you're not on the right path mm, queen of swords in reverse somebody here is very manipulative they're conniving they are um what do you call it promiscuous yep they're under judgment for trying to seduce this man Somebody is definitely burning, and it's not a man, or it could be, but somebody is trying to um, give somebody an STD so that they can't move on. they like, well, if we both got it, then you're mine, right? 
trifling. They want to um, flow and steady offer. They don't want to just come and unpack and be here for five months and then leave. Somebody here is planning to be with someone and put in the work to, you know, have a solid foundation. That's what I'm trying to say. Yep, somebody here is um, having an ego death. Okay, somebody here wanted someone to be bowing down to them. They wanted this person to be like a doormat. Scorpio energy, the death card is Scorpio energy. The lovers, Gemini energy. Yep, somebody here has a lot of passion for someone. Somebody here definitely has a big, um, you know what, because <clears throat> that's what that reminds me of. Somebody probably here masturbates a lot. Oh. Yep, they reminisce about somebody from their past. And this is also somebody going back to nurture their inner child, okay? They um, are becoming balanced within their masculine energy and their feminine energy. And this is Sagittarius energy. They are defending their self and what they love to do. Speaking their truth. Finding out truth. Okay, I like that. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. So somebody here is um, going in solitude. Um, they are trying to get inner guidance. Okay, they are headed towards a wish fulfillment. Okay, that is their justice, Libra's energy. This also could be someone um, dealing with the justice system. Five of Cups, Ten of Swords. Somebody here is grieving, and they are finding out about the ultimate betrayal, okay? Moving on to my messages from my deck. Of course, it would come on. Okay, clear, honest, and oh, okay, accurate messages for my water sign. <sighs> okay, no, too many, way too many. Let me. Somebody's wondering what's on your mind because you've been acting different. Okay. Mm, drug dealer. Something that's significant to someone's drug dealer or you are drug dealer. Drug dealer is the number one card that keeps coming out. Oh my. <sighs> Snake. Faded, de uh, faded destiny. So, you have a snake in your um, in your situation, and it's faded for it to be exposed, or it's faded for them to be in your life. Nineteen, nineteen. Oh my. Full moon. Something is very significant to um, a full moon. Someone here is having dark thoughts. Oh my, poverty spell. Somebody here was trying to affect somebody's business on a full moon. I'm sure that ain't the only spell they probably did either. Because if somebody is, you know, doing stuff like this, they're trying to be skilled and calculated. Yep. 
high value you're high value and this is why they try to do that to you somebody doesn't feel fulfilled but spirit wants you to transmute your pain into power don't just lay there mm. Mm. word richery Somebody here is going around telling people stuff that's not true about you. Word witchery is also a form of black magic. Focus on the future. Somebody here is focusing on the future. While somebody else is creating block blockages, obstacles, and delays in your life. They don't like that you're becoming standing standoffish to them. But spirit is telling you you're... Prayers have been heard, okay? Something might catch you off guard. Somebody's light skin. Clear, honest, and accurate messages here. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to take them. Spells to attack your health. Somebody's been trying to attack your health. Okay. Um, gas leak. You may have a gas leak or somebody is planning to pretend that you have a gas leak while they're trying to plot to kill you. Something is being repoed. Okay. Mm, somebody is spiteful, conniving, and malicious. Oh, somebody is potty training. And this came out again. Family in on deception, water signs. But this is going to have you rejoicing once you let all of this go because you're going to be reaping the harvest while these people are stuck with their karma. Oh, somebody is doing spells on your, um, on your um, sperm. Okay. Private investigator out next. Somebody is going to be um, exposed by a private investigator. And um, SUV is out next. So somebody here drives an SUV. Oh. Okay, hang on. These are the last messages. Okay, somebody feels like you're their Bonnie, or or you feel like they're your Bonnie. Somebody is um, metrosexual. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that. It, all it means is you like to look nice, you like to have your clothes matching, you like your nails, you, you know, clean, you like fresh haircuts. Nothing's wrong with that. But Spirit is wanting you to know it's now or never about a certain situation, water signs. Um, forged signature. Somebody forged your signature. Oh, my glasses. Somebody has glasses. Somebody is singing like a bird. Mm-hmm. And somebody also feels like, I'm sorry, these are all over the place. Someone feels like we've outgrown each other, and this is why they're doing this to you, because they feel like you're moving on, and they don't want you to. They're trying to have you with cluttered thoughts and cluttered um, situations in your life to um, throw you off. But this person is having health concerns, and they will be having health concerns in the future. It might not be healable. And this is also you having health concerns because of what's going on around you. Theft of service out next. So someone here um, is planning to purchase something probably with your credit card and dispute the charge. Or, you know, somebody's trying to get your services and then dispute the charge or leave a faulty, like, business review on your business. But you're classy and you don't need to worry about it because out of all this, there's a witness. Spirit sees all things. This is the end of the message. If you like my vibe, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, um, follow my Facebook business page. It is Uniquely Divine. Thank you.